Beacon hosting the Spring Bash Tournament at Dutchess Stadium and Tony Romanelli looking for his 20th win of his varsity career. He was in command on the mound and his team was supporting him with a bushel of runs. Top of the second, Beacon up 2-0. Andrew Grella in scoring position and Josh Catalano takes one for the team. Albertus Magnus decides to intentionally walk Josh Antelec and pitch to Nick DiNapoli. Big mistake. DiNapoli makes them pay with a gapper to right center field. Two more runs score and it's 4-0 Bulldogs in the second. DiNapoli just one of many to have a multiple hit day. Romanelli helps his own cause with a single through the four hole. One more run scores before DiNapoli gets cut down at the plate. But the hit parade continues. Nick Golombiewski goes the other way. That scores another run and puts runners at the corners for Ryan Frost. Frost paints the left field line. More runs score. It's 8-1 in the fifth. Patrick Shedder was on fire at the plate all day. He drives in another two runs and Beacon wins it 12-1, making Tony Romanelli the second highest winning pitcher in Beacon baseball history behind Brian Plumley, who set the record back in 1991. When he had 38 for his career, so I told Tony he needs 18 more wins this year to uh, to, to to get Brian. You know, it's a great feeling. Uh, 20 wins, only the second player in school history to have that. You know, it's a big thing for me. What did you feel was working for you on the mound today? Today, my off speed, mainly my changeup. Um, I was falling behind with the fastball, but my second and third pitches bailed me out and got me ahead and hitters out. What's going on with this team? You guys are knocking off class AA schools like it's nothing. I know, um, you know, we're just hitting. We're an experienced squad. We're hungry. We want that championship. And once we put it all together, it's tough to beat us. You know, we have a lot of talent, Charlie. We, we, we don't deny it. We, we think that if uh, uh, we can play with anyone, now it's just a matter of going out and competing every day and getting better every day. If you look back throughout the seasons, you've had so many good seasons. How do these guys compare to what you've had in the past? Uh, they're very favorable. I'm talking about we've had some great teams, uh, you know, the, going through the uh, Ryan Powers days and the uh, Sean Lucas teams, um, but also even the 98 team that won a section title. But, uh, um, you know, the, uh, the bottom line is you still got to play on the field and we still got to improve and we still got to look to get better every day, not only as players, but also as people. You know, we talk about that all the time.